Meantime, nonprofits in our area, they are getting ready for one of the most critical fundraising campaigns of the year. North Texas Giving Day, less than two weeks away officially. Our Caroline Vandergrift to show you now the impact giving has on our communities. Caleb Rosler isn't picky. Baseball, kickball, basketball, football. He's down to play pretty much any sport with a ball. The 12 year old would spend all his time outside if he could. I'm inside if I have to. Unfortunately, Caleb has to quite a bit for treatment for cystic fibrosis. It's a respiratory digestive uh, disease um, that it is uh, genetic and is also terminal. But Caleb isn't alone in his fight. His older brother Tanner has CF2. I mean, it does help, but I mean, we still get on each other like normal brothers. I, it's no different. <laughs> a normal brotherly bond against a backdrop of daily pills, breathing treatments, G tube feedings, and the ticking of the clock. For a long time, we didn't we didn't plan for a future. Um, we planned today, and we lived in today. When Tanner was five years old, his doctors told the family to start preparing for the end of his life. Instead, they chose to get a second opinion. We came to Children's Health in Dallas and they said, I think that we can help him. So the Roslers moved to North Texas and started receiving care from a team of experts at Children's Health. Our hospital is our second home and the staff members are their family. With new treatments and research, comes new hope. We have seen ourselves planning for more and even our children are saying things that are bigger and further off in the future and it's, it's exciting to hear. Tanner's biggest dream is to reach old age, but with no guarantee, he'll continue to focus on the now. Live life to the fullest, don't hesitate. Or you don't know how long you have. Children's Health says it needs your help to improve the lives of more kids like Tanner and Caleb. This North Texas Giving Day, they're raising money to improve patient care, fund groundbreaking research, and more. In Dallas, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.